Now, one of London's biggest sporting events takes place this Sunday. Yes, it's time for the boat race when thousands of people gather to watch the Oxford and Cambridge teams compete. And this year, history will be made in more ways than one. Victoria Cook is in Putney and can tell us more. That's right, Riz. Well, this weekend, more than quarter of a million people will line the banks of the Thames for the annual Cambridge and Oxford boat race. And this year, as you say, history really is being made. And that's because the double Olympic champion, James Cracknell, is taking part. Now, he's breaking history because he's 46. So he's the oldest person to ever take part. Now, he can do that because he's currently studying at Cambridge University. Now, earlier today, he told the BBC how he's feeling ahead of the race. It's strange, I don't actually feel, well, I feel obviously a lot older than I was when I raced the, uh, the Olympics, but it's, I think, the society changes, 46 isn't actually as old as it, as it used to be, and I think part of what I've always believed in is that you know, being fit and healthy is something I think we should all be, rather than I just did it because you had to in order to be, to be good at sports, so I've kept fit, and then but not this fit, as I found out, but it's enough to be able to sort of get back into it. But also, I think it will hopefully act as a, a motivation for people to want to make a change and, and not be judged by others or have, a, have ceilings set by other people and say, right, actually, I believe I can do this, I'll show you I can do it, and then you know, don't bother questioning me. Now, it's not just James Cracknell that's making the record books this year. This is going to go down in history for another reason. Now, it's quite a different reason. This year, pubs along the stretch here in Putney are all using these special reusable plastic cups. Now, we will probably agree that is very important at the moment. Nobody wants to see single-use cups in the Thames. Now, to tell me a little bit more about this is Nicola Grant from Positively Putney. So, Nicola, tell me what, why. It's probably obvious, but why are these cups so badly needed at a big event like this? On boat race day, thousands of pints are poured, every, uh, are served, and therefore um, many single-use plastics end up in the rubbish. Uh, they either go to landfill, or unfortunately, because of the nature of the event, they end up in the River Thames. So this year, the pubs decided to join together, um, uh, provide these cups, and therefore um, we will reduce the amount of single-use plastics in use on the day. What, how does the Thames look after in a big event like this? Does it look quite bad? Are you seeing the cups in the water? So every year, 300,000 tonnes of waste uh, comes out of the rubbish and 80% of that is single-use plastics and we know that a lot of that could be attributed to boat race day uh, people just chuck their cups they even put it in the bins but the bins aren't emptied as regularly as you might like and so a lot of it ends up in the river so how's it going to work will people have to pay for them so no we're not we're not charging people for the cups when they when they order their pints from the bars uh, they will be given the cup um, and then once they finish their drink they can either reuse the cup uh, take it to back to the pub they will then wash it or they can put them in one of the many collection bins that we've got on the route. Now, um, I, guess, I guess some people will say, this, is this not just more plastic? Could this not just end up in the Thames too? So um, these cups can be used 50 times. Um, and so that's the idea is that obviously um, on boat race day, we have to serve in plastic. That's one of the regulations of the licenses. Um, and so therefore we have to use plastic. So it's good to use plastics that can be used many times. Um, these cups are going to be used in the future on football match days um, so that they are going to have a good lifetime. All right. Thanks very much, Nicola. Well, if you are interested in the boat race this weekend, come down. All the events start on Sunday around midday. Back to you, Riz. Thanks very much, Vic, and let's hope the weather holds. <laughs> More on that later.